Favela do Metro has experienced uh, what has probably been the most devastating, the most brutal of all the evictions that Rio has gone through. And this particular eviction was for the World Cup. Favelas in Rio have been around for over a century. Houses have been built over generations. The Brazilian constitution has an adverse possession clause that puts people's rights at five years of occupation. So if you occupy land after five years, you have right. Most of the last century plus, the government has just ignored these neighborhoods. So then it was kind of a shock when there was this kind of opportunity where we don't have to follow those laws now because we need to pull things together in time for the World Cup. <laughs> So we're standing here in Favela do Metro, which is a 48-year-old favela, more or less. It was founded, like all favelas, around an opportunity around employment. So the original settlers of Favela do Metro moved here to build the city around, to build the metro for the stadium. So we're only 500 meters away from Maracanã Stadium, where the World Cup final will be held. This was my house, and I was the last one to get out of it. Saiu daqui, desse pedaço saiu todo mundo. Olha, no início houve muitas histórias, como agora também. Estão dizendo que eles estão fechando ali para fazer estacionamento. Quer dizer, muitos moradores que moravam aqui valem menos do que um estacionamento. Whether it was a parking lot, whether it was an automotive pole, whether it was shopping, uh, there were several answers given over the years theories because no information has been publicly accessible but all of it has been for the World Cup. They never had drug trafficking or militia here. Over the years they built up their community. It was a safe community and then they got their original notice that they would be removed. Initially they didn't make much of it. This was before the evictions were really happening on any scale. Then six months later the city authorities just arrived. They came with notebooks and papers and asked people to start signing off on their homes and that that was their only option. É, quando eles chegaram aqui, eles fizeram um cadastro e falaram que a gente ia sair. Até então, a proposta dele era levar todo mundo para Cosmo, que é 70 km de distância daqui. Algumas pessoas ficaram com medo de perder suas moradias, foram, e outros não. About 100 people of the original 700 uh, took that initial, whether you call it an offer or a, a threat, um, and went to the housing in the West Zone. Mostly it was elderly people, people that were very vulnerable, who really were fearful that they would lose their homes. Uh, but right after that, about 600 remaining families started fighting against eviction. Aí foi onde eles começaram o terror com a gente. Esta é a nossa luta, esta é a nossa reivindicação. Nós queremos que o um prefeito faça valer a lei e por cima de tudo respeite nós que somos seres humanos. Acertou uma criança de dois anos lá, cara, na cabeça. A criança foi levada lá com a cabeça cheia de sangue, cara. Que absurdo! Pô, isso é humano, isso é desumano, irmão. A gente estava dormindo e o pessoal da prefeitura trabalhando, quebrando a casa do lado. Levava um, dois, três, deixava o quatro. Levava os cinco, seis, os sete, deixava o oito. E foram ficando algumas pessoas. Eu, ficou minha mãe, ficou outras pessoas. Então a nossa situação aqui ficou precária. Those hundred initial houses were demolished and the debris were left amidst people's homes. But basically the city made it unbearable for residents and they started resisting them not to stay but move to more accessible public housing nearby. And that's what ended up happening after a lot of struggle over three years of resistance. So three years they had to live in those conditions uh, until all the families were resettled 
in public housing nearby. And today, here we are, and well, we're in the middle of construction debris. Uh, nothing's changed. They haven't built anything here. There's nothing. The World Cup has already begun. It started yesterday, and here we are in the middle of a field of debris. Olha, sem demagogia, eu preferia minha casa. Porque minha casa tinha um terraço, a gente fazer churrasco. Eu preferia minha casa. Minha casa era feia? Era, mas era minha. Você vem do aeroporto Santos Dumont. Tem uns painéis bonitos. Você olha do outro lado, é a favela atrás, escondida. É uma maquiagem. E nós estamos a 500 metros do Maracanã. E eles não vão deixar essa obra do Picasso aqui enfeiando o Maracanã.